Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther and this is the voice behind Seed Style. Welcome to Seed Style. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to cut a palm. And before we go further, I would like to thank all of you that have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your support. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for trusting me and coming back. And for those of you that are watching for the first time, please don't just watch and pass. Subscribe to support your girl. And let's go straight to the tutorial. In cutting your pants, I've laid my material on the cutting table and it's unfold. This side is open, it's fold in two. First of all, we are going to cut the front pattern. But before you cut it, make sure you straighten your fabric. your hot iron and straighten your fabric. Then I will be taking my my horizontal measurement. So I will mark it. So I'm going to be taking one inch in on the edge. Mark as well, like so. Right. From here, I will mark the length of my pant. The length of my pant is thirty-eight point five. I will mark 38.5 then I will add 3 inches for allowance. 38.5 plus 3 is 41.5. So, mark, mark my 41.5 here. Right here. The next thing that I'll be doing, I'll be taking my vertical measurement. This will serve as my waistline. So from my waistline, I will be taking my vertical measurement. Now, the next measurement I will be taking will be my dividing my hip measurement by four and my hip here is 45 45 divided by four is 11 one quarter 11 one quarter that 11 one quarter i will place it here The level one quarter, I will place it here. But before that, I'm not just going to leave my tape here like this. I always, always, my band, the band of my waist will be one and a half inch. So I will go up with my tape like this with one inch before taking my horizontal measurement, my vertical measurement, sorry. My vertical measurement. I'm not going to just place it like that. If not, it will be a little bit longer with one inch if I leave it like that. So I'm going to be taking off one inch up like this. 
can we see the the tape is not exactly the iron part of this tape is not exactly at the line it's out of the line with one inch and remember i said the waist will be one and a half so the half that i'm leaving inside will be to attach the waistband to the pants i hope the explanation is well is clear now i will start marking my vertical measurement and this is my my hip measurement which is 11 more pattern i will mark it here then my knee my knee in the height in the length of my knee is 21 leaving your tape still one inch off like this you mark your 21 then down you take your full length the full length of the trouser whatever excess is remaining leave it for your folding allowance remember when you finish attaching your trouser finish joining everything to fold the down part you have to take your length the length measurement then you trim the excesses so it's better for it to be excess than it to be sometimes when you finish this at a joining trouser let's say for instance you add two inches a folding allowance and you finish folding attaching all your trousers your trousers together finish putting the pieces together you notice that some, some part on the hemline is shorter than the other and something like that you don't want to fold it like that you have to trim it so in the process of trimming it you might not get enough material to fold it so it's better for it to be excess than you to be short of of material the folding allowance so i will mark my the length of my trouser which is 38.5 whatever excess is there is for my folding allowance to turn the hem of my fab my trouser so now i'll duplicate all these points so that i will connect them together from here my tape is off with one inch mark my hip measurement this will serve as my crotch my crotch length my knee 21 then the full length of my pants is 38.5 then i will connect the points together i'm using a pen i don't want to use a chalk tailor chalk on this The white material, so I prefer to use a pen, a pencil instead. So I connect all my marks together. Now, after this, the next thing is to take our hip measurement. Now, I'm going to be measuring dividing my hip measurement into four and remember in cutting your pants the only place that you'll be dividing into four is your waist and your hip other place like knee your thigh and your ankle you'll be dividing it by two so here i'm going to be taking my hip measurement my hip measurement divided by four is 11 one quarter 11 one quarter plus one inch for for seam allowance is 12 one quarter it's 12 one quarter here i will leave my 12 one quarter here then the same thing that i place here i will place it on my waistline 12 one quarter i will place the same thing on my waistline like this then I will connect it together. This will serve as our crotch height. This is our crotch height. Now, 
on this my crotch height i'm going to be placing my tie measurement my tie is 30 30 divided by 2 is 15 so from here i will place my 15 i'll place my 15 yeah And I will connect it. Sometimes connecting it, you can come up here like this with two inch and come on this L angle. You mark one inch and connect the points together. Get a nice curve here. Place it like so and get the three points. Make sure your points are touch, touch each other. All right. Now the next thing to do is on this crotch height, I will be taking my waist measurement. So my waist is 41, 41 divided by 2 is 10 1 quarter, 10 1 quarter plus 1 inch for seam allowance is 11 1 quarter and if you want to put a dart in front, which I'm not going to place a dart on this front, it's only the back that I, this is for, this is a male pant. So the dart will be at the back, only at the back, not in front. So this is my 11 one quarter here, I mark it here. Then connect it to my, to this my hip, to my hip measurement using my hip cuff or my pants cuff. Like this. Can we see what we have here? I hope it's clear enough. I hope we can see it clearly. Can we see this shape? So that's what you get when you are cutting yours. It's not coming out like this. Look that something is not right somewhere. Then, before I go ahead, on this my crotch height, I will come down with one inch. You can come down with half of an inch. Let me make it half inch. Okay. Connect this to slant the front part. this can we see it's slanted now now the next thing is for me to get the middle of this 15 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 <coughs> this is the middle of my 15 let's see 7.5 yes the same thing i will mark this my 7.5 here so this will also serve as your dad if you are placing a dad this is where you'll be taking your dad now i will do the same thing on the knee and on the hemline yes Now the next thing is our knee measurement. We've gotten our waist, we've gotten our tie. Now the next thing is our knee measurement. Please pay attention on this area. Remember I told us that it's only the waist and the hip that you'll be dividing by, by four. Every other part is divided, you're dividing it by two. But in this method you are going to be using Watch what is we are going to do here. So, my knee measurement 
is 19. Is 19. 19 divided by 2. Take our tape where your 19 is. This is 19. Divide by 2. I divide my 19 by 2. This is what I got. 9.5. I'm not going to place that 9.5 like this. We want to shape our pants now. So this is my 9.5 again. I will divide it by 2. Like this. Can we see what is what I got here? Four three quarter. Four three quarter. So this four three quarter, I will place it on this. Let's call this green line. I will place it on this my green line. This my middle line or my dark line. Anyone you want to call it. Anyhow you want to call it. The 4.5, I will place it here. Then mark it towards this side. Then still leave it there and mark your 9.5 on this side. Can we see? We've gotten our knee measurement. Now, on the hemline, you still do the same thing, which is our ankle. My ankle is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. The 7 again, I will divide it by 2 is 3.5. That 3.5 again, you place your 3.5 on the green line as well, like this. Mark it on this side, leaving it there. Mark your seven here. Uh, or you can place, mark your 3.5 from the green line, mark it there, and then place also like this and mark your 3.5. Can we see? You see at that 3.5. You can also do it like that. Don't mark it on the hem, on the folding allowance. It's just on the full length of your pants. Now, time to connect the points together. First of all, let's connect from the M line to the to the knee, like this with my straight line, straight ruler. I connect it like this. Then here as well, this side to the knee line. Connect it like this. Can we see our pants is coming out already? Now here, I'm not going to use that stretch ruler. I will use my hip cup, slanted part of it, and connect it to my tie like this can we see the shape that we are getting here then on this other side as well i'll be using my straight then we cut it out that is basically all for the cutting of the front now when we are cutting it watch here be the hemline on the hemline First of all, okay. I'll cut it like this. Cut it like this. You can see that I stop at the full length of the pants. Same thing on this side, then I'll fold it like this. I don't if you cut it straight like this. When you, are, when you finish attaching or coupling every piece of the, your pants together and you want to turn the down part for up, it will be short on this side because the upper part, when you fold it, it will not be equal to this other, other part. Let me explain. 
if I measure up to, let me say, 3.5 here, and then measure this 3.5. What I have here is seven and a half, but on this down part is seven. Can we see? Here is seven and a half, down here is seven. Remember our, our angle is 14, which is seven. So coming up a bit is more than seven. So if you leave your hemline, the allowance for folding, well, exactly that seven, and you turn it up like this, you know the allowance is not going to stop here. No, you are going to bring it up in order to get your exact trouser length. So if you bring it up like this, it will be more than, it should be more than seven on this side in order to tally to the upper to where your folding allowance is going to stop. So for you to get that exactly like that, you're going to be folding it up like this. Don't cut it the same thing, the same with the length. Fold it up like this. Like this, you can iron it down if you want to. Then follow this line. It. And you show ruler and connect it like this. Can we see what I've done here? Then I cut it out. Unfold, it's still folded. Don't open it, cut it out like this. Then the down part again. Can we see how the down part is? Now open it. Can we see the shape that we are getting at the down, at the down part? We save the shape that we are having here. It's not straight. It's not straight. It's a little bit. Can we see? The down part is not straight like that. The folding allowance is not that straight on the down part. So this is how because the front now the next thing is cutting the back the back of our pants this is the front and remember when we were cutting the front the only place we put allowance was the waist and the hip other places we didn't put allowance so all the allowance will be on the back piece now let's go straight to the back i've placed the front on my back pattern and this is how you place it you pick the one, the front piece that you mark, that you place, you put your mark and place it. Remember when we were cutting it in the front, it was like this. Now, when you are placing it to get the back, you place it like this. Place it like this. Now, this is my crotch. On this my crotch line. Okay. Two inch. This is where my two inch is. This is my knee line. I will mark my knee line on this on the back part like this as well. Then my ankle, which is the full length of my pants, I will mark it like so and then the hair the folding allowance as well now this is my waist line on this my waist line this is the this point which is our crouch i'll place my ruler like this i will place my ruler on it like this and okay, draw 
a line from this crotch line to the upper part. Remember, can we see there's still some allowances? The back is always longer than the front on this upper part. Remember the front, we took half of an inch to slanting it. The back part, we are going to take 1.5 to 2 inch or it depends on how big the person is. 1.5 to 2 inch up, upward. So, and this part here, I'll be taking a dart. So, this allowance that is here is for my dart and joining allowance. This allowance, this one and a half inch, you can leave it at one inch because you have one inch in on the front part already for your joining allowance. But it's better to have excess than getting short of fabric. So I see half half of an inch here for allowance, or let's call, let's call it ease allowance for the back pattern. Now, on this line, the front, I will be taking. Two inch up like this because if it's somebody like me that is not big you will take one and a half up I'm going to be taking two inch up because the person is bigger than me you take your two inch and connect it to this Connect it like this. This is the back piece. You connect your two inch to it, and on this other side, it will not be straight. It will come slant up to the front part. It will be equal on the same allowance on the front part with the front part. It will be equal here. So it's only here that it will be longer but one is almost is coming towards the side you slant it plant it until it's equal so that when we want to join it everything will align together connect it like that then bring out your extend this your crotch line then give it a nice curve this back should not be too deep, but on the knee line, I'll mark two inch. Then here on this one, extend to this line, this green line up here. Extend it to your back pattern for your dart. So that you will know where you are going to be taking your dart at the back part. So this is where my dart is. That is all for the back. Now I will cut it out. Guys, we've come to the end of our tutorial. This is our pants. This, this is where my dad will be. Let me place a notch there. This is where my dad will be. This is the back piece. This is the front piece. And when you are cutting, don't throw all these things away. This, this is the, this is what we remove from the front. This will serve as my zipper fly, while the other one will serve as my. This will serve as my pocket facing, pocket facing, and my zipper fly. Don't throw them away. Thank you so much for 
watching this tutorial to this point. Thank you. I hope it will be handy, it will become in handy for someone out there. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment at, at the comment section below. And hit on the notification button beside this tutorial to get notified whenever I upload a video like this. Please don't forget to support your girl. Subscribe. It will not cost you anything. Thank you so much for watching to this point. God bless you. God bless us and God bless Nigeria. God bless our nations. Wherever you are watching this video from, God bless your nation. And let's stay safe. Peace. Thank you.